frangete verso l'inglese, ok.
Welcome to, the, to a very much expected meeting. You all have seen a beautiful illustrator's exhibition. I am very proud and honored of presenting you the jury that curated the selection for the exhibition. So I want to welcome uh, warmly our, um, our jury members and I will uh, uh, introduce them to you. Um, at my left, I have uh, Valerio Vidali, who is an Italian illustrator. He has been selected many times and now is here as a jury member. So thank you, Valerio, for being with us. Thank you. He, they made an incredible job. I want to tell you, it was a huge, huge work. And um, then I have on my right, Irene Savino, uh, from Ecare Publishing Venezuela. Thank you, Irene Savino, for your work, for being with us, your um, friends, long-term friends of the, of the fair. I have Agata Lot Ignacuk from Poland. I, am, I apologize, but I can learn uh, how to say that better. But I am, um, I am happy to present you and uh, the books produced by Druga Norka, Druga Noga Publishing House have been appreciated and um, many times displayed and also mentioned, I think, in the Bologna Ragazzi Award. So we have a great admiration for Polish publishing and uh, a long-term uh, friendship with Poland. So thank you very much, um, Agata, for your work. And then uh, we have Baru, a French illustrator. I, I, would, I would speak too much if I would present him. We all know his incredible work as an illustrator and books. Thank you very much, Baru, for being with us. I want to introduce you um, also uh, our uh, jury member, um, uh, Nana from I, I, Nana Furia, I'm sorry, from, uh, from Tokyo, from Japan. And I want, uh, uh, she's an artist, an illustrator, and uh, she was part of this incredible group. So thank you um, uh, for your work. And I want also to, uh, to welcome um, Ayami Morizumi, who is a um, a friend of the Bologna Children's Book Fair of uh, EB Japan, and today she is so kind to be with us uh, for translating Nana's work from Japanese. So thank you very much. Um, we will keep all the meeting in English. I think that is fine for everybody. Terremo questo incontro tutto verso l'inglese per non togliere tempo con la traduzione, ma penso che come comprensione dell'inglese saremo tutti in grado di seguire i nostri non nativi inglesi um, ospiti e giurati. Um, well, uh, what to say? The work of the jury for the illustrator's exhibition is a huge work. Um, they really uh, need to find a common taste. They are uh, extraordinary professionals in the publishing industry with different roles, but they are asked to become a group. So their eyes are asked to become one couple of eyes and their perspectives have to convey into a common selection. So that's why the process of uh, the jury work, the jury's work it's so interesting. Um, I would start, because I, I don't want to take time out from their voice, but I would start this conversation um, from um, Irene Savino, Ecare Publishing House. Um, Irene, uh, you, um, you uh, selected some images, your favorite images. Allora possiamo mettere le immagini di Irene Savino fermandoci sulla prima eh, perché poi le muoveremo con il nostro telecomando. Grazie per la, la regia. You, um, we asked our jury members to bring um, a few, a choice of their favorite illustrations. But I want to reassure you, it's not a short list, it's not the, the illustrators they love, but it's just the number that we ask them to select for this chance. So my interest is to hear 
from you how your taste, your professional experience got into the selection process. So as first of all, as your impression on these thousands of illustrators, these illustrations, and secondly, the discussion with your jury colleagues. Thank you, Irene. Eh, beh, scegliere le cinque immagini da presentare oggi è stato difficilissimo per me perché credo che c'erano molti lavori straordinari e potrei fare un discorso su diversi lavori ma c'era da scegliere cinque perciò voglio dire che, che non è che siano i cinque, gli, gli unici cinque che avrei scelto sarebbero stati molti altri. Sì. The we had to find uh, five images, uh, five pictures, and that was very difficult because there were many that were quite extraordinary. But again, we had to, um, we had to choose five. Uh, I could, in fact, talk to many of them, but again, as I say, there were only five that had to be selected. In questa prima immagine che... Questa prima di Narj Mohammadi, non so se si pronuncia così, ma è una illustratrice iraniana. E mi è piaciuto moltissimo il lavoro che ha fatto, è un lavoro molto elegante, molto bello. E mi è piaciuto perché trovo tracce della, di un'altra cultura, della cultura persa iraniana, ma però vista rivisita, rivisitata vista da una maniera occidentale e lo spa Uh, in this image here, this is by uh, Narges Mohammadi. I hope I've got the pronunciation properly. Okay. Uh, this is a very elegant, very beautiful work. And I see in it uh, traces of um, the, the, a different culture, Persian culture, but uh, revisited, revisited uh, under Western eyes. Forse ho sbagliato dire occidentale, volevo dire più contemporanea, non occidentale, scusate, so, I, ho sorry, sbagliato I that, la parola. I got that wrong. I don't mean really uh, from a western point of view, but more from a contemporary point of view that she revisited uh, sì. Persian culture. Sì. Lo spazio che generalmente nella pittura persa è piatto, quattro, troviamo che c'è qualche qualche prospettiva in questa immagine non tanto ma in un'altra che potete vedere nella, nella mostra c'è uno spazio anche se impossibile un po allo stile escher ma c'è un accento di, 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 di spazialità e quello mi è sembrato interessante um, here, she used space in a different way because the space, uh, space and the use of space in Persian art is flat. Um, but here we have a perspective which creeps in, not so much in this image, but in the other images that you can see in the exhibition. Um, it uses perspective more. Um, there's almost a hint of Asia as well, but certainly the accent is much more on the spatial dimension. Un'altra cosa che volevo dire di questa illustratrice è che sono immagini che il tempo di lettura è lento, non sono come un'immagine che ti colpisce di, come un poster, ma devi entrare, devi avere quel tempo per entrare. Quella è, è un'altra cosa che volei, vorrei sottolineare del lavoro di Narch. Another thing I'd like to underline is the, of this illustrator is that reading it and looking at this image takes time. It's not something that hits you like a poster, for example. You have to take time to get into the image and understand it, and that's one thing I'd like to underline. Chiedo alla regia se mi mettete le, le cinque immagini di Irene Savino, gentilmente e poi noi le muoviamo con il telecomando. Mi servirebbero le cinque immagini di Irene Savino, invece è andata solo una delle cinque. Se Deanna puoi 
verificare per favore grazie quelle di Irene Sabino sono cinque immagini okay. allora, sì perché ho visto che c'era una che non queste? Irene guarda se io vado indietro sono queste? No, queste no. no ok mi mettete dall'inizio quelle di Irene Sabino We just have to get the order of the images Beh, right, scusate, okay? possiamo... No, the... Era no, eh... The word order, no, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, perfect. This... Okay. Beh, qua ci abbiamo un'altra de... delle immagini che ho scelto. In questo caso è della illustratrice messicana Amanda Mihango. Vorrei dire quello che mi sembra affascinante del lavoro di Amanda è la libertà. Amanda è, è un, ha una maniera di illustrare è molto aperta, molto originale. E penso che quello che più mi attrae del suo, del suo lavoro è sentire che c'è una... che lei sta cercando modi di esprimersi differenti avere una voce propria che è una cosa che è molto importante per gli illustratori e più che quello che si vede nell'immagine è come, si, come parla l'immagine come, eh, come si esprime attraverso il disegno e per questo mi è piaciuto molto scegliere Uh, this one here is uh, by Amanda Mijiango, who is from Mexico, and I found her pictures, her images very fascinating because there's a freedom there. It's uh, her way of illustrating is very open. It, she's trying to find her own voice. That's what attracted me especially, that she's find, trying to find a different way, her own voice, which is very important for an illustrator. And it's not so much what you see in the image that it speaks, but it's how she actually uh, draws it that is attractive. Okay. Qua abbiamo un altro illustratore. Questo illustratore si chiama Dale Blankenar. E lui è sudafricano e il lavoro di, di Blanchera mi ha colpito molto perché mi piace il contrasto fra dei personaggi che sono molto calidi, molto um, amabili, in contrasto con delle de forme geometriche che, che conformano lo scenario e se vedete nella mostra le altre immagini eh, c'è sempre un contrasto fra eh, forme geometriche che vengono anche riprese dalle stoffe africane allora c'è quella traccia culturale che mi sembrava interessante da, da mettere in rilievo And this one is by Dale Blankenau from South Africa. And what struck me about his images is the contrast between the characters in the image who are warm and uh, very friendly, uh, the contrast of these characters with the geometrical forms that are in the image. Um, in fact, you can see that this runs through all the images uh, that he sent in, the five images, this contrast between the, the geometrical shapes uh, and the characters. And of course, the geometrical shapes go back to the um, patterns on African fabrics. And I like this cultural uh, reference in his work. Ah. Ah, queste sono divertentissime. In queste immagini vorrei sottolineare l'importanza dei personaggi. E creare personaggi 
eh, es una de las cosas que, como, que un ilustrador debe haber, porque son los protagonistas, los protagonistas de, de, de libros. Eh, penso che è difficile eh, avere personaggi fatti di cose, di cose inanimate e in questo caso sono vegetali, frutti. E, um, io quando vedo queste immagini vorrei sapere la vita di quei personaggi, sai, mi, mi, mi incuriosisce sapere cosa c'è dietro. E, una, e, e, come dicevo prima, è difficile eh, con cose inanimate dargli vita, eh, ma qua abbiamo tutto un mondo che mi piacerebbe scoprire di, 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 di questi personaggi. È un lavoro di, di personaggi. E in questo one here, uh, this is great fun. Um, and it shows the importance of creating characters. And creating characters is very important for an illustrator, of course, because they're the protagonists of the story. Mm -hmm. And here we have characters that are made of inanimate objects, of uh, greens and fruit. And uh, when you, I look at this, I want to know more about the life of these characters. You know, it, that is something that really makes me very curious. And as I say, it's very difficult to create this sort of characterization. Ah, beh, questo è un, è un lavoro dell'illustratrice che ho parlato prima, di, di Narj Mohammadi. So this was uh, the okay. illustrator we saw before, uh, Naja Mohammadi, and again, what I said about the space is very important there, the spatiality of it. Okay. In this case, the illustrator is Paige Suo. Okay, Paige Suo. Queste immagini mi hanno fatto sentire che come lettore di queste immagini andavo alla scoperta di un nuovo mondo e come, un, come gli, gli esploratori ottocenteschi che, che vanno alla ricerca di, di nuovi mondi e ho sentito che lui rifletteva eh, quello spirito di scoperta, ma una scoperta di selezionare, di classificare, di delineare. Eh, mi sono sentita un po' come Alexander von Humboldt arrivando in un altro mondo. Adesso in questo caso ce n'è solo una e anche vi invito a vedere le altre immagini che sono nella mostra. E c'è anche quel confronto tra la piccola persona che siamo tutti noi e il mondo grande e vasto. E un po' mi fa pensare che in, questi, in questo mondo che viviamo oggi, dove tutto cambia molto in fretta, bensì per, per la tecnologia o per la pandemia che abbiamo vissuto, dove ci questioniamo e riflettiamo su anche i, i, i diversi ruoli delle persone. Tutto in questo momento si sta come eh, riflettendo, cambiando. E allora penso che il lavoro di questo illustratore mi, mi ha portato a pensare che stiamo andando in un altro mondo che cambia, che è nuovo e che c'è da riflettere e da conoscerlo perché non sappiamo molto bene dove ci porterà. Eh, mi è piaciuto molto questo lavoro, uno del, mi sembra affascinante. Uh, this is by Paige Suo, again, a work that I found very fascinating. And this made me feel, as a reader, that uh, I was going towards discovering new worlds, rather like um, sort of 19th century explorers going out to discover new worlds. And it made me reflect on the spirit of discovery, the, uh, the, the desire to select, to classify, and to define things that were found. I felt a little bit back 
like uh, Alexander von Humboldt uh, when he went into new worlds. And it made me feel and think about us very small people in the world and this vast, enormous universe that we inhabit. And the fact also that our world today is changing so very fast uh, because of technology and also as a result of the pandemic, we have uh, been led to reflect very much on our role in the world and what we are doing. And uh, all this, in fact, uh, I think goes back to the question of the changing world. And this illustration brought this to me, that we are perhaps ourselves, like the discoverers of uh, yesteryear, going towards a new world and new countries. And we have to, we don't understand this, and this is something we have to reflect on. I like this illustrator a great deal. Thank you very much, Irene Savino, for your uh, reading of uh, these images. There are different elements that you pointed out that are so important in illustration. Uh, you, you mentioned the characters, you mentioned the use of uh, geometry and shapes on the page. The, um, you, you suggested the idea of this classifying, you know, as uh, you talked about Humboldt, so the scientific view on things that, that normally conveys with the artist's perspective very, 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 very often the eyes of the scientist is the eyes of the artist that looks into tiny details, that look for connections among things, for example, uh, that are apparently distant and far. And uh, so thank you for um, giving us an insight, a first insight on what was your um, way of looking, way of seeing um, images. Um, uh, before um, before passing to the the, the, the other jury member to Agatha, um, I would like to underline uh, something about the annual. Do you, do you see this beautiful book? This is the book, the annual of illustration, where you find all the uh, exhibited uh, artworks printed here. So it's a gallery. Let's say it's the exhibition uh, of the illustrators that you can bring with you at home. Um, you can find it if you want to buy it and. Uh, the, at the info point, but um, I wanted to underline that the cover of this year is by Elena Odrioziola, this wonderful artist that won the Grand Prix in Bratislava. You know that we have the tradition in Bologna that the cover of the annual of the illustrators is one year uh, the winner uh, made by the winner of the Annal of Bratislava, the other year of the winner of the Hans Christian Andersen Award. Uh, so we're very happy also to have uh, known that the Hans Christian Andersen Award went to Susie Lee and we cannot wait also for the next cover. What do you find in this book is a world of work that has been done and I wanted to spend a few words about that because it's really a long process and in the last two years, let's say three years, uh, the process changed and um, the great work that is done by the curator, that is the Anna Belluti, that is over there, uh, is, uh, is uh, coordinating a work that adds to change. Because of course, pandemic that you also mentioned, Irene, changed our life and changed also our work, but we worked more and more, we didn't stop and we invented new ways to do it. So these wonderful arti artists and professionals that are with me, that, that are presenting their work as jury members, had no an easy life in doing that, because normally what happens is that we receive the thousands of uh, submission. Uh, I think this year were like uh, 3,000 illustrations, something like this. And, uh, and then you have to come out with uh, sort of 78 is this year. And uh, if, you, if you think that every illustrator submit five images, do you know that? And uh, you can imagine that the selection process is very big. You have normally um, a big all here in the fair and it's very fascinating, of course. I just go and visit. Uh, I don't work in that moment, but it's a great honor. I go and visit and I see these tables with all these thousands of illustrations, carefully, carefully presented. Every, the five illustrations will be close one to the other. There are all the information about that. I, I can tell you there is a lot of love and care in doing this. And, uh, and then our jury members are invited in this hall and they would, would stay there for like two days and they would uh, have the chance to pass 
with their individual taste all the illustration more than once and then to select pre-select and then talk about the pre-selection and go to the final selection this had to change because these wonderful professionals they were available to do a mix work because you started in November, am I right? Uh, and, and you did it online. It's very different. It's very, very hard, I think. Then I want to hear from you also, of course. But uh, you had to, to go through it online, and then during other steps, at the end, you finally met up. But I would like to ask you if you want to mention also something about the process of, uh, of the work in itself. And uh, I would be grateful for, for that, Agatha, if you, if you can. Thank you. Yes, uh, thank you. The first uh, two rounds we selected uh, online and this was really a hard and long process because we had to open every image and there were like 3,800, I think, uh, entries. Uh, and then we all met uh, for discussions and we also saw the images uh, only on the screen. Uh, so for us, this is really a wonderful surprise to see finally the whole exhibition and all the illustrations put together. Uh, and uh, we are very happy with our work, uh, I have to say. Uh, although we, are, we were all, I think, a bit stressed uh, before coming here, uh, how it will all uh, look and uh, how it will all work out. So, so it's, uh, it was also a big day for us. I don't know, I hope that the process will be easier and the next jury will see all the originals. Uh, we will see how the pandemic will. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that. And uh, Agatha, how was for you as a publisher uh, to go through this illustration? What were your, um, let's say, how, how, how did you choose how, how, your, uh, how your heart works in front of this illustration? We can show also your images. Allora andiamo alle immagini di Agatha per piacere dalla regia. Non mi sento dalla regia, regia Rosa, grazie. E okay. and you can go. Um, so first was of course the, the first impression like uh, what I saw, whether I liked it, whether it evoked any feelings and uh, then, then the more rational process started uh, to work um, and I was thinking more as a publisher to see how all the five illustrations work together, whether there is any continuity, story, how the flow works. So it's uh, even quite difficult for me to, to talk about just single images here because we were more choosing images that would work well in a book. Uh, so I chose just a couple to, to show you how diverse the works were and that was really also a great experience to see so many images from all over the world. You could uh, feel some trends and feel some uh, works that work better in some countries or colors. That, that was really a nice experience for us. So I think this is... Uh, this is an Ukrainian illustrator, Polina Doroshenko. Uh, and what I liked about it is uh, the combination between uh, more old-fashioned printing techniques uh, combined with uh, modern color approach and this layer work, which uh, I think still works very well. This is just to emphasize that uh, some traditional older techniques still work very well and uh, we saw quite a lot uh, I think of manual work this this year um, uh, this is an illustration by uh, Karin Siren from Sweden and uh, what I really like about it this is uh, it's this cinematographic approach and uh, really interesting framing and uh, it's also combined with uh, manual, I, I'm not sure, I think it's gouache work, but uh, it, work, it, was, it looks very well in, in the original. And uh, I think that uh, 
such illustrations for children that are now used more and more to watching fast uh, things, films on screens, uh, combining this more uh, modern composition, mm, composition, <laughs> to say. Um, well, that, that it's just um, the cinematographic approach is, uh, is, uh, is interesting and not so often seen. Uh, <laughs> this is an illustration uh, by Lira Ben Zaken from Israel. And uh, this was really like a short story when we saw all the five illustrations together. Uh, they didn't really need more any more text, uh, and uh, I like it because uh, it is uh, very symmetrical and uh, there is a lot of harmony. But uh, this bold use of color uh, makes it very dynamic and fresh. And uh, I think uh, it's like in a very simple way a, a funny idea is conveyed. And uh, just, I like the di diversity between the, the, the images I chose that just, just to show that you can make a story like really uh, in a simple way using very little like means. I think it's uh, also a digital work uh, just to, to compare to the other more manual work. So, so uh, that's, that's an interesting story, and oh, this is, is this, uh, I don't know if it's my image. Uh, I, I chose uh, no, Noemi Bola, I think a, a different image, uh, but we can also, <laughs> this is also fun. Uh, I love the way uh, the characters are, are shown, and the, this has this kind of lightness and fun thing that, uh, we as publisher also look for in children's book illustrations that uh, uh, there are, that there should be like really entertaining stories, uh, yeah, uh, entertaining stories, and and this is like uh, here you the characters are really small, but uh, uh, those illustrations like really show show the ability how using uh, very like. Um, very little means you can really change the character of a of a person of a worm here. So so it was just like fun and, and is, is this mine? I can't see. Okay, it's also a different. Yeah, that's a. I think it's Marianna Stema illustration. Yes, I also chose, uh, th that, that's a huge difference between Noemi and uh, Mariana, which um, this is a, an image that uh, really evokes uh, a lot of emotions and leaves you a lot of space for interpretation. Um, it's a story about loss, so um, there was also this continuity between the five images, a thread going through all the, uh, through the whole story, which, uh, which was the connection between the different emotions you go through. So this is one of the images, uh, and uh, I found it very moving, and uh, also this painting and collage technique, uh, all. Um, manually made, so uh, so I found it as a good example of uh, what we saw in the selection of, of like uh, more illustrations that, that can be also paintings or they can also work for, for themselves like very well, so, so that's my choice. Thank you very much, Agatha, and uh, thank you also for mentioning um, illustrators for, of course, of very different areas. And I want to, to say something. We were expecting to meet up, to meet again after the pandemic. We were all 
very thrilled because you know that the fair was just confirmed in, in January. So first of all, thank you for coming. Thank, thank you for trusting us. Uh, thank you for submitting in this time of pandemic. And um, secondly, I want to say that our common work, yours and ours and all of us really is building an international understanding community. And um, it's with emotion that I see uh, illustrators from uh, Ukraine being selected together with illustra illustrators from Russia. Because this is our community. And this is a space in which everyone has the right and uh, will have always the right and the, the freedom to be with their art. And uh, I want to underline this. Um, maybe there was no need but maybe there is. I think that every one of us has a little bit of a heavy heart during all this. I don't know you, but many of the people I shared impression have the feeling we are celebrating. Do we have to celebrate? Yes, we have to celebrate with this awareness, I think. So just thank you for, um, for let me, letting me say that about your choices, Agatha. And uh, thank you for the beautiful walk you took us into your, uh, your selections. And you know, the, um, in, in the process, everyone uh, brings his own uh, perspective, as we said. So publishers, editors, and uh, now we go to um, the, 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 perceptive, the, percept the perspective of um, an artist, an illustration. And um, I would like to ask you, Nana, uh, Furia, uh, what was your experience in the in the selection, and uh, uh, how was for you uh, being asked to to be in the jury, to be in the selection project, and also I would like to know about the part of the selection in which you met the other jury, and then apart from counting numbers, then you decided together how your exhibition was to be. So how was the experience of the selection uh, individually and in the group? Thank you, Ayami Morizumi, for the translation. Hi. Konnichiwa, Furia Nana desu. Hello, I am Nana Furia. I have been a member of the jury, but I have been a member of the jury, but I have been a member of the jury. 初めての経験でした。これまで選ぶ方ではなく、選ばれる方の側でしかなかったんですね。私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は And sometimes I would think, hmm, why was this work selected for this exhibition? And this time I was able to experience the role of somebody who selects people. The role of somebody who selects people. 審査員5人が本当にみんな違う人間で違う視点で違うものが好きで集まっている人たちだということが分かったんですね今回。Group of people who have come together. そしてその一先ほどあの一つのグループとしてこう選んだっていうことをおっしゃってましたけれども。Marcello mentioned that we have selected all of these illustrations as one group united. 私の気持ちは
その3日間一緒にいた中でそれぞれの人たちのことをあの受け入れるというか私の好きなもの好きなものというと変ですね私が理解できないものでも審査員のあの人がこんなふうに好きだと言ってるんだと。いう時にそれを受け入れるっていう気持ちが芽生えました。And、um, as we went through the third round when we met all together,、um, I understood how important it was to accept and understand、um, why、um, the different jury members chose certain, certain things. For me,、um, this understanding was very important. How Uh, important it is to be able to accept other perspectives, other points of views. もしかしたらそれがこうあの一つのグループになるっていうことなのかもしれません。Maybe that is how, how a group comes together and how a group becomes unified. そして私は今回あのここで二人の方のあこれ出てるよ出てるけど。この絵でいいのかなあ、ちょっと待ってあ、これじゃないこれこのカタリーナさんの作品を選びました、um, like、これ、あの二つ選んだんですけどこれ、最初の一作目ですそしてこれ、あの審査,審査の間にまあ、あのこれはよくある作風ではないかっていう意見も何人かから出ました。My, でもあの最終的にこれが選ばれたのはあのまず一つこの今難しいこの世の中がいろいろ複雑になり難しい社会問題が起きているときにそのテーマを子どもにとても分かりやすく伝えられることができる作品じゃないかということです。Um, in, uh, To help them to understand, this is an example of a、um, work that helps children to understand these issues. そしてもう一つは、この中に描かれている登場人物たちがとても丁寧に一人一人、丁寧に描かれているということです。And one other thing that I really liked about these works was that, was that the、um, characters are drawn in detail. この絵の中にあのごめんねちょっと変わってるけどねサッカーをしている子どもたちそれからそれを見ている多分近所の人たちサッカー好きの人たちそれから家族が描かれているんですけれども And you can also see the neighbors who have come to see the match, and you can also see that their、uh, relatives and family members, other family members, are there. So, if you have a question, you can ask me to ask you to ask me to ask you to ask me to ask you to ask me to ask me to ask me to ask me. To invite you all to go and see the originals and look very carefully. So, in the future, the people who are going to be a group of people who are going to be a group of people who are going to be a group of people who are going to be a group of people who are going to be a group of people who are going to be a group. And if you look carefully, you will find that there is a group of elderly people, maybe they're neighbors.、Um, there are、um, bit plump people, also very thin old people, and also some elderly people who have、um, walking aids. それからこのサッカーをしているグループの中に
多分私はあの一人女の子がいると思うんですけれども。And I thought that maybe there is also a, a girl amongst the players. そういうちょっとした本当に細かいことがこの絵本の中にはしっかり書かれていて。This artist works very carefully on detail that are interesting for children. So I think that children who read this book can understand in a very natural way that society is made up of very different people. そしてこの絵はその最初に審査員の人たちがよくある絵ではないかというそういう意見が出たようにそれほど。特徴的な絵ではないかもしれません maybe right that,、um, that, um, そしてあの登場人物たちのデフォルメもそれほどありません Plain way. でもこの例えば難しいテーマを子どもたちに伝える本を作るときにこういうやり方もとても大事なんじゃないか画家の個性ばかりが前面に出るというより出る,の出る絵本だけではなく。So, I think that、um, when you think about making books for children,、um, the theme is very important. It is also important to have books that show the personality of the artist that is behind the book project, but it is also important to think about the importance of what theme you are working on, what you are trying to say in the book. So, I think that いろいろな社会にある難しい問題を伝える,伝え,られ伝える一つの大事な方法ではないかと思いこの人の作品を今紹介させてもらいました。So, um, the reason why I chose these illustrations was that I really appreciated that she used this very simple way to tackle、um, a social issue. And convey it in a very clear way to children, in a very natural way to children. So, I think that I have c h o s e n And then I also have、um, chosen Charlotte Le Maire as one of my favorites. I think that I have c h o s e n Charlotte Le Maire as one of my f a v o I was totally amazed by the illustrations the minute I saw them. I thought that the dynamic use of color,、uh, the dynamic use of the brush and the color palette were amazing. これはあの大空に雲がすごく重なっている絵なんですけれども彼女のスタイルで彼女の感じるままにすごく伸びやかに描いています季節のように見える絵なんですけれどもすごくなんか不思議なリアリティがあるんですね。The style might seem childish to some, but you can feel that there is a strange sort of magical realism to it. あの見る見ている人たちにこう空間すごく広がる大きく広がる空間とか冷たい澄んだ空気とかを感じさせてくれます。The space goes on widening in eternity, and you can feel a cold air penetrate 
そしてこう下の方を見るとそこにはすごくイラストチックに描かれた花とか小さな家とかが描かれてます。それがこのすごくダイナミックな上の雲と違和感がなく一緒に描かれていることに私はすごく驚いています。そして私はこの シャロッテさんの描く人物とか植物それから小さな生き物たちってすごくユーモラスで温かくて親しみが持てます。漫画的な表現を使ってもいるんですけれどもそこにあのこの絵ではないんですけれども植物が描かれている絵があるんですがその植物を見るとその彼女にはしっかりした観察をする目そしてそれを その観察したものを表現絵筆で表現できる確かな技量があることがわかります。And You can feel that she is a very good artist. Unfortunately, the, the picture that I wanted to show you is not here, but you can go and see the originals out there at the Illustrators exhibition. こう雪が積もっている地面があってそこにすごく大きな三日月が出て書いてある絵があります。その三日月が右側にあって、右側にあって、右側にあって、右側にあって、右側にあって、右側にあって、右側にあって、右側にあって、右側にあって、右側にあ
of uh, I'm sorry. Um, I learned. Um, I understood that her dynamism comes out from how she layouts the elements onto the page. So, Charlotte, さんの素晴らしいコンポジション構成構成力と美しい色のハーモニー、そして可愛らしいキャラクターたち、その三つが。すごく合わさったものがシャロッテさんの絵の魅力だと思っています。I think that Charlotte's、um, works are <笑> composed of these three interesting elements. The first is the composition, and the second is her use, her harmonious use of color, and then also these detailed, very cute. Detailed illustrations. These three come together to create a wonderful work. I would like to congratulate Charlotte. ぜひ皆さんあの絵を実際に見に行ってください。So please go and see her originals. Thank you very much to Nana Furia for this beautiful reading of illustrations, and you saw how much her eyes of、um, her eye of an artist and also of an author. Uh, could could tell you that every illustration was being、uh, looked at with attention, in details, with cultivated perspective, and going into the poetic of the difference of the grammar used in every illustration. So、um, this is very important because when a jury is asked to make a selection, is asked to listen to the voices of different illustrators. So sometimes, for example, being an artist, you could be—I mean, you have your own poetic and taste, right? And、uh, of course, you bring it with you. So in the selection, it will affect, which is what you are asked to, but also. To have a welcoming world, and your words really represented this attitude of welcoming other poetical universes. So thank you very much for that and for your work. And I would ask now to、uh, Valerio Vidali, who is at、uh, my left. You can have that microphone, yes. And、um, so once again, an artist, a young artist, you were.、Uh, Also, growing up, can I say that in Bologna Children's Book Fair, it's a long time、sure. that you come and.、Uh, growing up, I don't know, but in the last year, since I was 18, I, I visit the fair every year, more or less. And and、uh, <laughs> so we saw your work being more mature, and uh,、um, we、um, and yes, I wonder how your、um, identity of artist and illustrator. Was working into the selection of the pro into the process of selection, and how was your impression? For example, Valerio, did you have one impression of all the images together? Maybe this was easier when you saw it in person. How was your impression about the all of this of the submitted work, for example? Well, I don't have a, an impression of the whole submitted work, <laughs> but I, I had.、Uh, I don't know when. I, when I thought, uh,、um, I thought this was gonna be very easy. I don't know why I had that in mind, <laughs> and suddenly it was very, very difficult. Very I thought I we are gonna sit down all together on a table and watch the the monitor, and、uh, it's gonna be very clear、uh, the, the beautiful ones.、Uh, and at the end, I, I was very.、Uh, I felt stupid. <laughs> Because I realized really、um, well how、uh, how, how different it was,、yes. uh, it was uh, each one opinion, and、uh, it was actually very interesting and uh, uh, a good learning experience to to discuss and talk and and try to understand、uh, what what other people see in picture where I, I don't see、uh, something I like. So in that sense, it it was a, a, a I thought it was very interesting. As a when I was younger and I was sending work to Bologna, Bologna has been very important to me. I think it's a it's a beautiful、uh, exhibition and、uh, it's a, such a big、uh, confidence booster.、Uh, and so. I, 
it was very nice for me to be on the other side. And, uh, and yes, when, um, when the illustrators submit for Bologna, uh, actually they don't know uh, which type of selection will be done. Sometimes I know many friends, they, they ask me, you know, and uh, what happens is that every jury really express its own uh, tastes and ideas in this long process. So every exhibition, it is really a different exhibition. And I want also to highlight how this exhibition then is a traveling exhibition because then it will be displayed in other places in the world, starting from Japan normally, right, Diana, do you confirm me that? So starting from Itabashi Museum that has a long friendship with uh, Bologna as it be Japan, and um, this exhibition is gonna travel the world and is an exhibition that is made from the jury that selected and choose it. So as curators, exact, as curators. And um, so I can believe that the process is so strong and also I want to reassure the illustrations, the illustrators that are not selected, for example, this year, don't give up because this is one of the infinite possible exhibition out of that submission. I think this is important to say because this uh, gives also the idea of the responsibility of the jury of the jury itself and um, and so going back to to Valerio thank you for what you said uh, I would like to know now uh, what was your taste that you brought and what were your ideas that you changed that when you changed your mind if it happened talking and discussing with your colleagues what were you looking for what what did you find yourself looking for uh, actually, I find uh, it's a bit difficult to, for me. To, sorry, it's a bit difficult for me to answer this question because uh, I don't know. I was thinking about what is my criteria, what I want, because I, there are many illustrations that I really loved, but at the same time, I didn't want them. I didn't feel they should be in the exposition. Why? This is interesting. Why? Because you have to, there are, well, first of all, we could have done like 10 exhibitions like this with the same quality. Like the, 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 nice. the way we choose things, it completely changed from one year to the next and it has nothing to do, uh, it's not like these are the, the best and the other are, um, this is our selection. This is a, a balance of uh, the thing we wanted to be present when I came to Bologna, I thought my main focus was to try to give protagonism to the, the things I see less in, in the book market. And for example? Well, uh, I don't know. I don't have an example. But, but you have favorite illustrations, right? To yeah, show? yeah, I, I picked... We can uh, show it. Yeah. Mi mettete le immagini di Valerio Vidali, per favore, grazie. So you can also give examples, for example. But so you wanted something that you were looking for, that you that you think it's rare, it's not common. Well, the thing is, uh, I think, uh, especially for young illustrator, uh, the, the the illustration exhibition is such a reference that it changed the tendency of the next year and the year after that. So when you see uh, 4,000 illustra 4, illustrator works uh, in three days, you realize how we are all going towards the same direction. So you want to point out the outcasts, the ones that are doing things differently. Or, and of course, you know, there aren't 70 people who are doing things completely different, but I wanted to, to pick the one that I, I think they deserve the spotlight. So also in the declaration of the jury, there was this word originality that is always mm. uh, yeah. maybe a double-sided uh, world. Sometimes it's a dangerous one, but you explained it, uh, I think, in a clear way mm. what was in, in, your, in your intention. And I wanted to say just the numbers. Uh, it was 3,872 illustrators from 92 countries and regions of the world. So out of it, 78. Just to 
to, to give uh, the number, the exact numbers of the, this huge amount of work. Yeah. So if you want, you have your images there. Yeah. Uh, if you like it, if you, as we said, you take it an example, and. Um, I also choose uh, uh, Mohamed uh, Narges. Yes, uh, which Mohamed also Narges. Narges, and is uh, can you can you move it yeah. to Mohamed? Okay, so this one. Yeah, this, yeah. Uh, yes. So um, the three um, illustrator I choose to show, uh, I I pick them because I wanted to choose three very different way to do things. So in what in the work of uh, Mamadi, uh, I really love the 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 traditional um, voice that she has. That well, it's all incredibly elegant, and uh, it's it has a timeless feeling to it. And um, I also love the the rhythm. Like every every page has a very different composition and narrative. It's a perfect uh, example of a picture book. It is uh, very smoothly uh, done. Um, okay, I'm somewhere else. <laughs> and this is the work of um, Su Sung Young. Um, actually, I I was looking now better because when we look at 4,000 people, we have like a limited time for each one. And I'm realizing now that maybe uh, my interpretation of this drawing are very different of the one of the author. But I really, I thought this was a story about, and this is like a, an exercise of uh, imagination. It's a two character meeting in a zebra pass. And I want I think we all we when when we were children we play on stepping on on a on non stepping on on the line or in a certain color because uh, there are monsters or some kind of like a, a child uh, imagination world. Now I have doubt because there is a fishing rod and there is it looks like there is some kind of purpose, but this very much resonate with me and also. It's very different because when you do picture book, they always, you always want to have movement and big changes from page to the next. And this is like the same composition all over. And it's still beautifully work because you can see, it's like an um, animation. You, you, you follow all the changes and, uh, and there is such a richness in the texture. It's very graphic, but at the same time is, um, it's very pleasant to the eyes. And the other illustration I was choosing to talk about was uh, Noemi Vola. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> I think she's uh, hilarious. Uh, I, I feel like we are all trying to do like a very poetic book and I really love very funny book. I think we should all try to do more funny book. <laughs> and for me, she is like, a, I don't know, it reminds me, when I was a child, I loved the Richard Scarry book uh, with many details and many little uh, storyline and reference. And um, I, I, I have a few of her work, of her book, and I think she's uh, she's very funny, and I, I think funny as a as a big merit in uh, literature and for children especially. I'm sorry, maybe I'm I'm being brief. No, it was very that. beautiful what you said. I want to underline something that you said that is so important to to talk and to think about the universe of the child. So thank you for mentioning it. Uh, laughing is so important in life and in education, so funny books are so important. And you know, uh, you mentioned the Noemi Vola many, many times. I want to say that this book uh, was also mentioned with the Bologna Ragazzi Award for the non-fiction because amazingly is a non-fiction book it's about the worms and uh, is based on a scientific study on the subject. And so this uh, also uh, let me say something that you said that I really liked that we have some rules in mind when we talk about the art of picture books. For example, dynamism 
great Maurice Sendak would tell you, you need to put the dynamism, the beat of childhood into the page. And the dynamism can be also in the composition. So pages after page, page after page, you need to move the reader with you. But Valerio said something very interesting. You can also take a rule and you can also break the, break the rule. So maybe you decide that you have a composition that is all, always like um, su suggesting the same way, the same composition, but you are doing it on purpose. And so you will find the dynamism or the fun or the poetical or whatever you were putting in it in another part of the grammar of the art of the picture book that you're using. So thank you very much for mentioning uh, either the art of picture book, um, the rules, and the universe of the child. I, I am very thankful for that. It's very important when we talk about the illustration. I know that for the jury was very important also to find a connection, a narrative connection between the five images that are submitted. And for example, this is a quality that you can look for if you are an illustrator and you want to submit. So in the five uh, artworks, there has to be a story, which doesn't mean that is a story of someone that here is walking and there is arriving. It's not that didascalic, of course, but this is a, uni a narrative universe that takes the readers and get it from one point to another, I would say. But I would like to hear, thank you very much, Valerio Vidari. I would like to hear from um, Baru. Uh, Stefan Baru is your name. I call you with your art name. <laughs> um, I'm a big fan uh, of thank your you. books. And um, I wonder, for example, you have speci very special techniques, choices, very um, um, recognizable style yeah. in, your, in, your, uh, in your book. So, how did you how did you go and look into other universes and how was your uh, experience and uh, as soon as you listened also to the others if there are points you want to uh, highlight that we were missing about all this process thank you Oof, uh, it's complicated but uh, yeah for me it's the it's it's uh, the idea first and the story it could be my story but it could be a story of uh, someone else and um, when I read the story for the first time, some images come in my mind, and sometimes it's paper cut, sometimes it's acrylic. So I, my style is um, moving, you know. Uh, it depends a lot of the story and about the, how I could um, be um, or give um, em emotion, you know. What is the best um, technique to give the emotion of the text? So. It depends. It could be uh, a lot of things. And that's what I want to say about the exhibition. If you look closely, there is a, a lot of creativity and uh, diversity. And I think it, it was one of, of our point. It's to show, as you said, it was like almost 4,000 uh, 4, um, pictures that um, was sent to the Bologna Book Fair. So um, in the middle of all of this um, big uh, oh, um, selection of images, we choose some of them that we felt that it was creative or in a way very creative. And uh, that's why I'm very proud of the selection. Yeah, you, you, you're right to be proud. It's a lovely exhibition. I, Thank I, would, you. I, I, I would say that diversity is um, a beautiful criteria nowadays. And, uh, but of course, you, you also impress your personality as a jury, I think. Uh, so I would like to know how was your, um, your selection? If you want, we can show your favorite. I think they're already oh, there. I, I, I would uh, be very simple. <laughs> or example of, you, of what you like. <laughs> and, uh, it's not mine. I don't know. Mi mettete le immagini di Barru, per favore, dalla regia. Grazie. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, I was thinking about the one with the horses. Uh, but it's, um, yeah, um, it was the um, Iranian um, illustrators because, um, because a lot of things, because of the techniques, don't press the red button. <laughs> the green one. Yeah, look at that. Um, okay. Yeah, I love a lot of them because of the composition, because uh, 
maybe about uh, to be honest I, I really don't know I think um, for sure I like the composition she when she does this uh, picture I think she took some risk um, I love the way she she draw things but what I want to say um, and they, they draw some beautiful horses too and I don't know how to draw horses so but I want more to talk about um, I don't know if there is some young illustrator uh, in, in the audience but um, you, you should take some risk and um, you should um, be creative and try to find some new path you know um, It's not, it's about emotion, as I said. Um, so a picture could be uh, well done, or, but is there no um, emotion or poetry uh, coming from this picture? It will be just one more box, you know? Um, but I want to talk to the young that, that are starting. There is a lot of uh, new path to explore. So um, be curious and be creative. It, it will be, um, I will be happy to come in, uh, in 10 years and saw some lot of different things on the wall. But um, this year it was, we got a huge um, selection, almost 4,000. So maybe in 10 years it will be 10,000. I don't know. This is a, this is a beautiful wish, a good wish to the to the new edition, to the future edition. Just one more thing. I know sure. that it's difficult to find your own style sometimes. So um, sometimes it takes time to, to find your, uh, your own style. So it's, it's not, um, you can, um, how do you say that in English? Um, on, on peut se tromper. C'est bien de se tromper. You can get it wrong, you can yeah, make you mistakes. Can yeah, because sometimes when you do something wrong, okay, um, feel free to, to, to put it behind you and, and try again. Um, it's just paper, it's just words, so it's not that um, important. I say that, but sometimes it's important, I know, but... Um, Four or three years ago, uh, um, a young uh, illustrator called me and he, he was uh, crying on the phone saying, oh, I'm uh, in the, um, he, he was in a very prestigious um, illustration school in France, but he was crying because he, he said, oh, I, I don't have any style. I said, yeah, but you are in a very fam famous school. You, you were admit there, so you are not... Uh, it's not that bad. And I said, how old are you? He said, 21. You know, you have time to, to do things. So, um, as I said, be curious and be creative. Thank you very much. I think and one more thing, sorry. I want to, yeah, sorry. I want to say thank you to uh, Elena and, and also to Di Diana, Diana. Because she was, uh, she was with us uh, doing uh, our uh, three days uh, lockdown, s talking each other, and she was very patient and, uh, and, and so nice with us. So thank you, Diana, again. Diana Belluti uh, made the huge work with the jury uh, to create, complimenti, congratulations, and to create this wonderful exhibition. I think you made a very inspire, uh, inspiring speech, so I want to close with your note on uh, trust yourself and don't be scared about mistakes and be curious, as uh, our artist Baru said. Thank you very much to all our jury members. We will stay here because in just five minutes we're going to get the ceremony for the, the prize giving to all the illustrators. So if you want, stay here and uh, jury members, please stay with me. Thank you very much for listening. Thank <laughs> you.